first and foremost, develop your eye, meaning whatever you see that captures your attention, take a photo of it. Just capture whatever you see, continuously develop your eye. So then when you do want to make that transition from a phone to a camera, all you have to do is work on the settings, your aperture, your ISO, whatever, whatever, but your eyes already developed. If you've been doing photography for an hour or a hundred years, if I'm like, how did they think about that? I'm a fan. Your tool, it is what it is. Whatever you use to express yourself, use it. A $2 camera from Dollar General or a $2,000 camera, it does not matter. If your intention is to express yourself, use what you have now and then work yourself up to getting the other tools. It's extremely convenient. I would, honestly, I tell a lot of people, hey, Nate, what can I get? What should I get? You got an iPhone? You got a Samsung? Use that. Long as you're getting your point across creativity wise, you're fine. To me, some of my favorite photos has been with my iPhone. I have a shot of my mom, a portrait of my mom. It's one of my favorite photos. When you see it, you see my mom, you see what I try to represent when I took the photo of my mom, and that's it. You can't tell that it was with the iPhone 7 Plus. Everybody asks, what kind of camera, what kind of camera? What kind of camera can you get your hands on? Use it. My intentions was to show the world, the world through my eyes. And I can do it in five seconds. If I'm just walking down the street or if I'm skating and I see something, capture, share, and there you go. You got some content for your Instagram. If I'm in the middle of a skate session and I see somebody trying a line that I think is like a dope trick, I don't have to say anything. I just act like I'm skating, pull my camera out, and then just follow them with my iPhone. And then just, hey, look, I got this trick of you. You know what I mean? It's, oh, snap, I didn't know. It's like, you're welcome.